What's up guys, Tea Party Percy here, and yes, this is another guide. Actually a short guide, but as you can see in the title, it's also kind of like a community project which we're gonna start, and yeah, I'm gonna explain it at the end of this video. So let's start first here, we're gonna talk about the engraving. Before I explain you what you can see here, you should definitely check out this Google spreadsheet here from the from Meldas. Yeah, this guy did a really great job. There are a few small mistakes, but overall this is awesome for, for the community. He translated um, a lot of stuff. And one of those is ring inscriptions, which is actually engraving. He pretty much explains the basic of engraving, how the engraving system works. And I have only a few things to add here, which is not mentioned there. First of all, what did he write here? So, new gearing system introduced in OBT3, yes, because in CBT1 and CBT, it's actually CBT3, uh, CBT1 and CBT2, we didn't have the engraving system. So, um, you can collect inscript, no, it's not inscription scrolls, it's like books, um, and unlock with those books engraving skills. Engraving skills are skills which you can add on your rings only on your rings and you can equip two rings in total and engraving skill doesn't stack so if you use the same engraving skill on this uh, on both of the rings and equip those rings they won't stack so you will have all the time if you have two engraving rings equipped two engraving skills active also to engrave skills you need this material which you can get from some npcs by trading stuff or exchanging stuff. For example, you can get it through PvP tokens, or you can get it by exchanging Chaos Gate drops by the Chaos Gate exchange NPC, which can be found in every city. So those engraving books which you collect, as soon as you have unlocked the engraving interface, you can add it here and try to unlock the engraving skills. For example, this skill here needs five books, and as soon as you have five books, you can engrave this particular skill on one of your rings. Now to the inference which you can't get from here. The first one is that each of those skills have a specific book, which means you can't get a book for, I don't know, for this bell and try to unlock this one. As you can see, the amount of en uh, engraving skills are, I mean, nearly 100, so there are actually 100 different books out in the world to collect and they need different amount of books or each of those skills need a different amount of books to unlock the skill for example this needs 30 books to unlock this specific skill or engraving and this one only need one book the next thing is which is really important and if you watch my last guide you know i fucked it up um, i forgot to do that specific purple quest to unlock the engraving system so if you guys want to avoid that I can help you out here we had yesterday a meeting in the guild and we talked about engraving so we did a little bit theory crafting in the en with engraving system and that's what the second spreadsheet is all about but yeah first here um, we talked about where the purple quest was and obviously I didn't know that so I asked my guild members and one of them I think Becky not knew the spot which was burn Burn is the fifth continent, so the first one, Luteran, then Tortoise, then we have the Chinatown, and then we have Alatine, and the fifth one is Burn. You should be around level 50 if you arrive in Burn. And there, in the big city, you will have to do a purple quest line. And the purple quest will introduce you how the enchantment system actually works. And at the end, it will unlock the engraving interface. And from that moment on, you can actually use your books to unlock those specific skills. So obviously, before that, you will collect or you will find some books. And you won't be able to use them. So just collect them. Don't throw them away. I will show you in a few seconds how those books look like. Now to the theory crafting. So as mentioned, we had yesterday a pretty long meeting and it was actually fun. We talked about all the skills and divided those in categories like 
for all classes for different situations or all situation and then we had some for specific classes so yeah we went through the full list and we have also the life skills here the important part is why did we do that because as i mentioned each of those skills need a specific book which means if you know which skills you want to unlock you can go for them and if you know the spot where they can be found you can go for them from the beginning or try to farm them from the start also keep in mind i forgot to mention that at the beginning where i was like counting the stuff which he didn't mention in his spreadsheet that you can trade engraving books some of those engraving books will be pretty easy to farm and if you want to save some time you can buy it from auction house but some of those engraving skills will be like pretty rare to get and no one will sell it because the skill which it's gonna unlock is pretty good and you can only get the book once and not like multiple times by farming it but it's possible for other books so let's move on and um, yeah so basically we try to categorize those skills and of course those are not perfect if you play a certain class and if you go down the list and think okay those skills are more important there change the order or you should write down a specific engraving there join our discord have a conversation with us and of course we can correct it now you can go through those lists here and um, check out what your class might need at the beginning and then this is now the community project what i talked about earlier we have this we started already collecting the locations of those books for example rage of thunder and cursed door if you click on this link you will get here so this is the um, island heart rewards island heart i mentioned that already in my exchangeables or collectibles guide so check it out if you don't know what it is and this one is the level or the the reward for 50 island hearts you can only get one here sorry so you can get the book for rage of thunder here for 50 island hearts but if you double check it here rage of thunder it was down here somewhere let me rage yeah, there. Rage of Thunder, you need seven bo uh, books to unlock the skill, which means there are different locations for the same book. You can get one from Island Heart. May most likely there are some other spots or other NPCs here where you can get the books too. So that's what we did here. We went through the, all the guides I had, all the screenshots I could find in discords and pretty much try to spot where you can get those books. This will make it easier for you guys if you have a complete list to know, okay, I need that spell or I need that book and I know where it is. I can go there and farm it. You don't have to search for an eternity to find the spot. And of course, there will be multiple locations and we're going to add that too. The community project here is so what I want you guys to do is actually if you watch guides, if you find some stuff, if you spot items which looks like one of those four books then check out the names for example here this one um, the last three words here are similar to the last three letters that indicates it's an engraving book and the important part are the letters or yeah the letters in front of that so you're gonna check here the a with the t here so if you have a screenshot of that or if you find an item which looks like that in a uh, as i mentioned a guide or somewhere else in a forum check it like here go through the list this is how um how those skills are written in um in korean language and you will find it here somewhere then look for the english name and check our list if it's in the list okay you try it but if it's not in the list then please dm me in discord or here in YouTube, whatever. As I mentioned, uh, the Discord link, the link to the uh, this Google spreadsheet, and also the link to this awesome spreadsheet from that guy. You can find it in the description below. So yeah, join Discord and um, tell me that you found this book and give me 
it would be awesome if you have a screenshot of it and I will write it down here. So that's it basically guys. So I hope um, it was understandable and sorry for all my, you know, fuck ups here because I didn't edit this video that much. In addition to that, um, we will have every week kind of like a guild meeting with theory crafting. Actually, not a guild meeting, more of theory crafting where we get together and talk about some topics. And um, if we have some useful information and a project like that, of course, I'm going to share it with you guys here on YouTube. And let's make this game awesome and easier for everyone so that you can start the game and know what you want to do, know where to get it and focus on the game and don't have to ask everyone around to find what you need. So yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video guys. Your Tea Party Percy. Bye bye.